is our tastic end in this video art tutorial. We're going to be using our felt markers or choice art medium and some wax crayons to create this lovely penguin artwork that explores the elements of art line in a variety of ways. We're going to be using it to create some patterns and repetition in the background. We're going to be using it to create our penguin, the shape of it. We're going to be using it to create some texture in our water and we're also going to be using it to create some value underneath the penguin. So grab your favorite art making mediums and something to draw with and let's make some art. Alright, so we're going to be creating an artwork that explores the element of art line. So line is an element of art where a point is created and is continued to create a different mark. So line can create shapes. We can have geometric shapes such as triangles and squares and rectangles. Those are all geometric shapes. They're like man-made shapes, right? But then there's also shapes that are naturally found in nature and they are called organic shapes and those things Things might be like leaves or clouds or blobs, anything that might just be more organic, not very symmetrical in nature. And those are organic shapes. So lines can create shape. Line can also create texture in our artwork, right? It can create the illusion of something being rough or pokey or fluffy. It can also create um, value. So you could use your line to shade with hatching lines or cross hatching lines or scribble lines. You could use your line also to um, create value and other things. So using your shading for that as well. And then you could use your line for pattern and repetition, which is what we're going to explore in this artwork. So we're going to use our line to create a shape, which is our penguin, of course. And then we're going to use our line to create patterns in our background. And we're going to be using two different mediums today. We're going to use our lovely felt markers and then we're also going to be using our wax crayons or colored pencils or pencil crayons, whatever you call them, to color in over top of the markers in our background only. Okay, so we're gonna play with a couple things today as we explore the element of art line. So here we go. All right, so we're gonna begin with our penguin and we're gonna just start off with a nice big curving line for top of penguin's head. We're going to bring two lines up on an angle to create penguins wings. So one line up on one side, one line up and then back down on the other side, just like that. Lovely little penguin wings. It's a very excited penguin. All right, we're gonna bring two curving lines down from the penguin. Now we want a cute little chubby penguin that's surviving the very uh, cold temperatures of the Antarctic weather. So we give a little, some more roundness to our penguin. And then we're gonna add our feet. So our feet are gonna be just below. So we're gonna draw some lines going up for the folds of the body. So two curving lines, kind of like rainbows that curve up, just like that. And we can connect with a curving line below. And that's gonna give some space for our penguin's feet. Now at any time that I'm going too fast, just hit that pause button and you can join me by hitting play again whenever you're ready. All right, so we got basic penguin shape going. We're gonna add some feet. So we're gonna just have some straight lines coming out on a diagonal from those curved sections at the bottom. So just some straight diagonal lines. So feet go out wider. And then we're gonna do some more of these curving lines just below. We're gonna do it three times, but smaller, right? One, two, three to make one penguin foot. And then one, two, three to make a second penguin foot. Isn't that lovely? Just like that. We're gonna do penguin's face. So we're gonna draw a nice big curving line on the inside for the face. And then one more nice big round U shape for penguin's belly. Don't worry about all this and around here. We're gonna color that in with our favorite art making medium. All right, we're gonna make a nice little piece of ice that penguin's sitting on. So we're gonna have two lines come out on either side of penguin, just like this. 
whoosh, whoosh. Okay, we're gonna bring it in in a zigzag to make a point. So on a diagonal line in, then we're gonna go diagonal line out on each one. Then we're gonna bring it back in again, diagonal line, diagonal line. I'm gonna do just a nice little shorty at the bottom here and then straight across and connect. Okay, now it looks like Penguin is standing on a piece of zigzag. So, or puzzle piece maybe. So we're gonna make it a little bit more three dimensional. We're gonna draw one straight line down on every single tip, just a short one, just like that. Now here's where the magic happens. We're gonna make some parallel lines. So parallel lines are lines that are equal distance apart. See, we got so much happening with line in this episode. So these are parallel lines. They are equal distances apart. And you might think of something like train tracks as being parallel lines. They're equal distances apart all the way down the track. So we're gonna make some parallel lines. So I'm gonna match the bottom of this point on all these ones. And I'm gonna draw a straight line that matches this Diagonal line wherever it is, okay? To make it parallel, okay? I'm gonna match this line with this one. So I'm gonna go whoosh, so that these two lines, bing, bing, are nice equal distances apart. Now I'm gonna make a line that matches this line here. So I'm gonna go bring my marker slowly across to make another parallel line, equal distances apart. It's almost like there's some math happening in art. We got shapes, so geometric and uh, organic shapes, that's our, that's math in art. And we have now have parallel lines happening in art. Isn't that fabulous? Math in art. All right, so next um, we have some diagonal lines over here. I'm gonna bring them across, one there. Bring it across, make it parallel the best you can. Okay, and now I'm gonna make one straight line along here that matches this line here. So I'm gonna take my marker, and I'm just gonna use my eyes to follow the line above as I draw the one below. I'm gonna do my best to draw a nice straight line without using a ruler. There we go, isn't that lovely? Okay, back up to Penguin. So he's sitting on a nice little three-dimensional iceberg. You can even add some waves if you want him or her or it floating in some ocean. You can sure do that. And of course we're using some line to make these waves. So that's wave texture using line. Fabulous, isn't it? Okay. In fact, we can even do some shading before I do the face. I just had this lovely idea. We could shade the space below Penguin, where Penguin's sitting on this piece of ice. We could shade it using line, can't we? So let's do that. We've got to explore lots of line this episode. So these are called hatching lines. They're just straight lines. When you put another line above like that, that's cross hatching. Okay, so we're gonna do some hatching lines. Go cool. right underneath Penguin, just like this and add those lovely hatching lines to make some shadows where Penguin is sitting on the ice here. Now the closer they are together, the darker the value, and the farther apart the lines, the lighter the value. And you can see that here, right? Where I have lots of lines close together, it's a little bit darker, but where they're farther apart, it's a little bit lighter, and that's value. And we just did that with lines. Wow, so lines are creating our shapes, they're creating our, our, our value, man. And we're also gonna use it to create our pattern and repetition in the background, so lovely. All right, back to Penguin, here we go. Miss Artastic got it a little distracted again. All right, straight line on the face in the middle there. Two lines down and a point on a diagonal, and this is a geometric shape, upside down of course, a triangle, right? three sides to our lovely triangle there. Give your penguin some nostrils so it can breathe. Now we're gonna put one dot on either side of the points there. So you see where that point is? Right there on that triangle, we'll put right, a dot right beside it on either side. And don't worry, those are not the eyes, but we're gonna make it a circle. So we're gonna take this point and we're gonna continue it, right, to make a line. So we take a point and we're gonna move it into a circle. And that makes another geometric shape. This circle's a little bit silly, that's okay. Now, in each circle, we're gonna draw one more circle. And if you have room, you can do a tiny, tiny little circle, maybe at the bottom, sitting there, just like that. All right, 
And now we got some coloring to do. First, we're gonna color in the dark of the eyes with a black or a dark color, like blue or purple, brown maybe, whatever you have. Okay, color them in. Leave those circles nice and white. And then you're gonna take your dark medium, nice black, whatever kind of medium you're using, felt markers, you could use that. But if you don't have felt markers available, use what you have, some wax crayons, colored pencils or pencil crayons, whatever you call them. Take those and just color in the dark parts of Penguin's body. I'm gonna leave a little bit of white along the top of Penguin's head. You guys notice I'm gonna leave it along that top line there, make a little line, and that's gonna be a highlight or the light is reflecting on Penguin's body. I'll leave a little highlight just like that. If you don't like the look of that, you can color it in. All right, so we got Penguin all drawn up and we're gonna add some details in the background. So we're gonna pick a different color, any choice color. I'm gonna pick, maybe I'm gonna pick some blue. And I'm gonna now divide up my background into some horizontal sections. So I'm gonna draw one line horizontally across. Whoosh. And it doesn't have to be straight, give it some waves. So we're we'll gonna make sections of the sky, but the sky is gonna be filled in with not only just sky color, but with pattern and repetition, okay? Another one, skip over your penguin. Whoosh, right across. And we want three to five different sections. So I got four. All right, so that's good. And now we gotta do some lines and patterns. And now you gotta pick some sky colors. So I'm gonna pick, well I have one, two, three, four sections of my sky, so I gotta pick one. I gotta pick mm, two, three, and I need one more. I'm gonna pick, this is an awfully difficult decision, four colors, there we go. I got my four colors for my sky, and we're gonna do some patterns before we color in penguin. All right, so we're gonna pick our first color. I got this lovely green, and we're gonna draw some line patterns across our sky. And this one, I'm gonna do these sort of rainbow shapes. So I'm gonna start off with some curves, then I'm gonna curve off that one, just like that. Okay, and we're just gonna keep doing that right across, making different little rainbows attached to each other to create some lovely pattern and repetition with line. And of course, pattern is connected to math as well. Lots of patterns in math and science. It's lovely how all these things work together So I got my first one. Now I'm gonna use my second one. All right, I'm gonna switch to purple here. I'm gonna add another pattern. Uh, I think I'm gonna use dark purple, in fact. Yes, dark purple. Okay, so this one I'm gonna do a pattern. I'm gonna do line, circle, line, circle, line. I'm gonna do that all the way down. Line, circle, line, circle, line, circle. All the way down in this section. Got another pattern. How about this time? I do one that is triangle, square, 
triangle square right across. Now, if you would want to do a different one, feel free to do whatever kind of patterns you want in each of your sections. I made a mistake, so I'm just going to go over it just like that, make a square like that. Okay, so just create whatever patterns using line that you want, but you can make patterns however you would like. They're easy and fun to make, and you can find lots of ideas online. You can look up Zentangle patterns or Zen doodles, whatever you want. See what kind of patterns exist out there. Try new things. Okay, and finally, I'm going to use this nice, lovely red, and I'm going to do just some nice loop de loop lines. Right across. Actually, I can do it like this. I can go loop de loop, zigzag loop de loop. That'll make a nice pattern. Okay. Now, we're going to come back to those lines in a little bit. We're going to color in penguin, and then we're going to come back and color in the background on top with some wax crayon to fill in all those white areas. Okay, so we're gonna grab some penguin colors. We're not gonna do too much. We're gonna need some a penguin beak and foot color. So you can grab whatever color you want for your feet and beak and color in penguin. Just like that. And we just need a little bit for the ice. So we're gonna grab a blue. We're gonna take this blue and we're gonna shade on top or color on top of those hatching lines with our blue. A little bit more dynamic. And we're also going to color these sides or edges of our ice with our blue. Perfect. Okay, so that's all done. We're going to grab a gray real quick and we're just going to shade penguin. So we're going to take a gray, it could be wax crayon, felt marker, whatever you have. And we're going to go around penguin's eyes, make it look extra cute. We're going to go under the beak, around the bottom of the belly where it goes from white to black. We're going to shade the bottom of the feet. You can even add a little bit of gray along the top edges of your ice if you want. It's up to you. If you don't like that, you don't have to do it. Perfect, okay, so penguin's done. And finally, we have to color in all the background. And so we're gonna grab our wax crayons and we're gonna grab a nice watercolor and you can color in the water using whatever watercolor you want. I'm gonna do blue. That way it's different from the color that I used on the ice and it'll still stand out. Okay, we have beautiful color there. Next, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pick the same colors that we used in each of these sections. We're gonna color right on top using the same colors. So the first one I have is a green. So I'm gonna find a similar green to match. And I'm gonna go ahead and color right on top of my lines. I'm just gonna lightly color right on top so I can still see my patterns through. Now it's a little bit more solid, but I can still see my lines through. All right, now I need a purple, so I'm gonna grab a nice little purple here. I'm gonna do the same thing, where I'm gonna color in right over top, nice and gently. Don't need to press firm, but we wanna make sure we color it all in. All right, let's do an orange. Okay, a nice little piece of an orange here. Same thing, I'm just coloring lightly, but I'm making sure I color in all the white. 
right over top. Beautiful. And finally, I have a red. So I grab a red wax crayon. I'm just gonna pin, color in lightly. Right over top the felt marker. Beautiful. All right, and once you're done coloring your lovely penguin artwork that explores the element of art line is done. I'm Mr. Cassie and I just want to say thank you so much for drawing with me in this drawing episode. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel and like the video and tell me all your questions and comments in the comments section below the video. If you're a teacher or a homeschool parent and you're looking for 30 complete art projects ready to go for your classroom or at your homeschool program, check out my course 30 um, art lessons for kids called Making Art with Kids. 30 art lessons that are perfectly designed and ready to go to play at home or in your classroom, complete with video art tutorials, rubrics, assessments, all your step-by-step -step worksheets. It's fully planned and ready to go. And they're all art lessons that are designed around your students' interests or your kids' interests, all designed to engage kids with both the art mediums and the themes of the art projects. So check out my course, Making Art with Kids. Again, 30 complete art lessons ready to go to use as your curriculum for art in your classroom or at home in your homeschool program. The link for making art with kids can be found in the description of this video, so check it out now and let's make some art.